Hi, DNR, Digital Noise Reduction. What is it? How do we use it? How it can help us? In this video, I will show you a way to work SSB, but with a quality that will remind you FM. Sound interesting? Coming up. Hi, I'm Tamir N6JJ and welcome back to my Reham radio channel. We are all familiar with the noise that exists on the HF bands uh, when we're working SSB. Sometimes the noise uh, determines if we will get that QSO or not. The good news is that we can do something about it. The DNR, the Digital Noise Reduction System, designed to reduce the level of ambient noise that we are familiar with on the HF bands and the 6 meters and in parallel enhance the desired signals. In simple words, it's a process that removes the noise from the signal. The DNR is especially effective during SSB operation when we have that random HF uh, noise on the bands. In the past, all the equipment tried to handle that noise using a set of filters that were actually analog electronic circuits. These days, new equipment comes with the DNR feature not as an analog electronic circuit, but as a special software. That software uses sets of known algorithms, and each of these algorithms is designed to handle different types of noises. The way the DNR works is different on different types of equipment, and to know exactly how to use your equipment, you must check your equipment uh, manual. I can give you an example of that difference uh, by comparing two very popular transceivers, the ISO FT991A and the ICOM 7300. In the ISO FT991A, when you enable the DNR function, you need to rotate the multi knob to adjust uh, the DNR level. You will see that you can select 15 different noise reduction algorithms. Each of these algorithms was created to deal with a different noise profile. You want to experiment uh, with the DNR system to find the best settings corresponding uh, to the noise currently being experienced. On the other hand, with the ICOM 7300, when you enable the NR function, you can adjust the noise reduction level to between 0 to 15. These levels are not different algorithms, but the control of the level of the noise reduction. Adjust to a higher level to increase the reduction level and adjust lower level to decrease it. So to summarize the difference in simple words, Yaesu gives us the option to choose one from 15 algorithms that will be the best for a specific type of noise, while ICOM gives us the option to control the level of that noise reduction. Let's hear an example of receiving a station with and without the DNR feature. When using the DNR function, the noise reduction process handles the noise itself and it does not affect the signal level. This means that if we, ex for example, are receiving a station with a signal of 7, it will stay 7 even when we are using the DNR. If you have that feature in your equipment, I encourage you to try it, to play with it. You will be amazed 
how an SSB signal can be heard. I hope you found this, this video helpful and interesting. Please consider subscribing here. Like and share the video with others that can benefit. See you next time. Thank you for watching 73.